From my childhood days, yeah, nature has been part of my life. And then, when I started to study architecture, I felt it is quite important to have understanding of the space relating to the nature, and especially the contrast between the pure nature field and the Tokyo situation make me to think about how we can integrate them or how we can deal the different quality of both of them to understand the nature as part of architecture or how to understand architecture as part of nature. The title of the, the exhibition is Futures of the Future. This name is quite special for me. It's not just like we show the model, but uh, we show the possibilities for the futures. And then people will see uh, something and then in the future they will make another future. And then from that, another future. So that was the inspirations of that titles of the futures of the future. The concept behind the architecture is everywhere was our daily process to put abandoned things or some test volumes and then put people. Then suddenly those test volumes became architecture. So those kind of transformation from just an object into the space by putting people was very interesting for me because it is representing the architecture is not just an object, not just a space, but more like interaction between the human body and the space. And also I was fascinated by such a playful way to think about architectural spaces unexpectedly or beyond our normal understanding of the architecture. The reason I put uh, such a small text on the models, if you read the text, it's not just an explanation, it's not just a title. It is saying something mysterious, in a sense. Then, suddenly this object, this model, could have the different meanings or different dimensions. So that is why I put the text and then intentionally avoiding the boring explanations. Thank you.